Protection for the people who protect us. The city council approved a plan for the FDNY to give bulletproof vests to EMTs. As CBS 2's Ali Bauman reports, supporters say it's in response to intensifying threats. Natasha Nemhard joined the FDNY first as an EMT and now as a paramedic in Brooklyn because she loves to help people. I wanted to take care of people. I didn't know that uh, I was going to be a victim. She says over the years, 911 calls have become more dangerous, like a recent call she responded to for a man who was passed out on the street. He woke up when we got there. He got really aggressive, really fast. And the next thing you know, he pulled out a knife. Thankfully, Nemhard was okay. But it was just last year when EMT Julia Fatoum was stabbed on the job by a patient in Manhattan. The year before that, EMT Rich McMahon was shot inside his ambulance on Staten Island. And EMS Lieutenant Allison Russo was stabbed to death while working in Queens. There isn't a day where I don't get notified where one, two, or sometimes there are days where there's six or eight. EMTs are paramedics that are assaulted. Thursday, the New York City Council approved a pair of bills to require the FDNY provide bulletproof vests to all of its EMS staff, as well as self-defense training every three years. City Councilman Joe Borelli, who sponsors the bill, says attacks on EMS have doubled in the past five years. If they show up to a, a crime scene, potentially, they don't know who the good guys or the bad guys are. Uh, they, they treat people the same. The FDNY already provides EMS with body armor, but this would solidify that practice into law. But the legislation only pertains to FDNY staff and not the EMTs who work for private companies or hospitals. Nemhart believes they should get the same protections. We just wear a different uniform and work for different companies, but we're doing the same job. The bill now heads to the desk of Mayor Eric Adams. A City Hall spokesman tells us he supports it. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.